Welcome back to Greasy Corner Garage. Here we are, December the 16th. We are at Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is for the Concord Cars and Coffee. As you can see behind me, there's a pretty good amount of cars coming in. Lake Norman Cars and Coffee is also today. So we're gonna, you know, wasn't, wasn't real sure how many cars were gonna show up today, but I'm excited. Um, Y'all grab you some coffee, you know, get you some donuts, and uh, have a sit down and watch this. Um, there's some pretty neat cars here. So we're gonna take a quick walk through and um, I hope you enjoy. So I'm gonna quit talking. Let's start walking. Professionals. So we'll be doing those here a little bit later on. Also today, this is the second month in a row that we've had what we're referring to as a mini tour, and this is exclusive only to cars and coffee. You can pre-register for this, you can always sign up for it here, and this is our gift to you. People always ask you how can we make a lap or tour around the speedway. This is the simplest and best opportunity for you to do that. per car. The first group will go out at 9 o'clock. We'll have a 9 o'clock, a 10 o'clock, and an 11 a.m. So these are unique opportunities to the Charlotte Motor Speedway, but you're not going to find it on the show. So take it out of the Not real sure what that signature is about, but it's probably something special. This one says Hodgkin Speed Shop on it too, just like that uh, Camaro did over there. Take you out under the through the tunnel and out onto the mile and a half Charlotte Motor Speedway, and you can feel and see and experience the bank and, and the speedway. Now this thing right here, I'm not gonna walk around every single car, but and look inside this thing. Do out here. So again, unique opportunities here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. That thing is clean. Have to excuse me, that car is I mean, the headers are coated. All the accessories, mats, are all flat black. I mean, down to the, I mean, look at the nut that's holding the air cleaner on. He's got all of his, uh, I think the coal pack stashed in there. This car, obviously, is a rotisserie. I mean, it's sweet. Looks like it's got catalyst paint on it. You know, it's single stage. The block is slick. <coughs> a lot of work, a lot of work. Learn more about the car culture and the things that are here. We'll tell you more about all the activity. The interior looks pretty stock. As the morning progresses. Pretty done. Sweet car. Let's hear some music and let's enjoy some cars. Cars are coffee, Concord, Charlotte Motor Speedway. met this guy with this Toyota Celica. This thing is super clean. It's all original except for the uh, radiator that's in it. Oh, you gotta go check it out. Honestly, if you guys got three times a day, it's a lot of fun. It's like this. Check this thing just out. Me. He didn't open the door, but all the interior's like immaculate. Pretty wild. You know me, I like odd stuff. You don't see these every day. Dude, that is sick. Yeah, it's like right up by your uh, street side pass. I live like 30, 40 minutes away from here, so I'm not mm -hmm. here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you had the chance today, I'd go for it. But like.
Belair. I mean, look at the wings on that thing. We seen that car. We seen that car in Americana. It was, uh, I think, in the second video. Yeah, it was down around the roundabout. So yeah, this '59. Let's go back there. Six point two liter supercharged Ram. It's the TRX, you know, that's the high dollar one. She looks pretty cool. What's over there? Wait till we get to that second row. It's gonna be a good one. Okay, we got a pretty good looking Mustang here. I like these side skirts or whatever you want to call them air splitters. We're gonna make one for the that'll fit the Fairmonts. Futura. It's got it's the Quest Life. Dot com. Little coffee break. So we got the longboard out. We're gonna ride that in a minute. By Dynamic. Right. In New Hampshire. At 547 Zephyr. Uh, dynamic. At 78 and, uh, Murphy's. And it has. It had some. Go follow if you hadn't already. It's like an old wrap on it, it's like it's something off the spaceship. That's right. pretty cool. With the Grand National. Chargers and Challengers. Yeah. And 300Z. That's a massive motor in front of that thing. Look at that. That thing's run good too. And I'll run that for a bit. And that thing right there is low. I think that's what the young kids call stance. But I noticed that these. Oh gosh. This is the welds.
Grand Cherokee, come on. Pretty cool old El Camino. What we got in here? Oh yeah. Pretty unique ride. Look, it's got the original toolkit in it. That's cool. Ham sandwich you go in there. And a ham sandwich. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's an effing Ford Ranger. Look at that C10, that looks pretty good. Good and low, That's sweet. maybe Bel Air Nomad Assuming it's a 73, since it's embroidered on the seats. <laughs> Look at that. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I like that. In the Christmas spirit. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a crowd around these cars down here. Mike Speed Shop, the boogeyman. Look at fabricated intake. Dual brawlers. That's the carburetor we'll put on Fiona. Let's do a little walk around this thing. I like the patina. It's red. It was actually the uh, it's the rust coating they put on them. And I'm sure it's, it's probably made it to look like that. Look at this pretty cool thing. This is pretty neat here. He's got this weathered paint job done to it. Looks like he ain't done much to it since last time we've seen it. He's got a heater in there. <laughs>
Holden. The Holden's holding. Supercharged. I think I see a 57 Chevy back here on this third row. Now look at that. That's neat. Volkswagen thing. GTR, that looks pretty good. Wheels look good on it. Got my colors on it, black, silver, and gold. I like that. That car looks like really an old restoration. I don't think it's original. I think it's an old restoration because it's got base clear on it. You can see it right there where the clear is coming off. They definitely didn't clear them back then. Four, four rows now, so and this place is uh, filling out. He took his cover off. He wants to show off his little turbos. Check this out, all you Volkswagen lovers. This thing right here is cool. Huh? Yeah, I think This thing right here is cool. It's a cabaret. I'm not sure what year it is, but man, she looks good. Volkswagen's are really growing on me. I like them.
There you are, right there. Hey, we'll cut down there here. There's an edge down there. Oh, yeah. I'm here for the gas. I'm holding it. That thing right Sure, what that was. I seen it from afar. I thought it had a pretty wild paint scheme on it, or graphic scheme, I should say. It's an RTR. Put an LS in everything. Come on. Look at the paint on that car. Why wow, you think that's House of Colors? That's neat. 63 Impala. Does it got air shocks or what? Del Sol's pretty neat. I've always liked Del Sol's. I like that blue and gold. It's just, yeah, I got to paint my wheels gold or bronze. I got to do it. I know I keep talking about it. It's going to happen here soon. I've actually got some Mustangs, some 18 inch wheels. I might paint them some real crazy color. I'll leave the ones I got on it black. The Z51. looking for something real exotic you know or I like seeing a race car there's a nice fox body back there about three rows behind us pretty cool 911 one some day glow on it that's bright all right so what we got down through there some passenger cars all right let's move on Salad. 
That's the guy we do all the shows with. We see him at all the Ford shows. He's got the window sticker in it. I think it was $27,000 when it was new. Man, it's black, tan interior. Pretty cool car. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. It's stock too, it's not molested. Yeah, man. <laughs> Throw the boxes cool. at the front door. I can't do that. F 100 custom. Yeah, there's too many cameras out yeah. there now. This thing looks pretty good. Yeah, Look at the side exhaust on it. That's cool. I guess we got rust there. That's a good way to solve that issue. Pretty clean up in it. I know it's bullshit. I mean, you guys think of how many times that box gets thrown in the warehouse. Oh, oh 100%. Yeah. At your door. That, I've seen comments on those videos. They're like, Let's see if there's anything else attractive on this road. Yes, there is. We got some fox bodies. Two point three liter on it, so it must be the turbocharged motor. He's got the sticker for Fox Tucker Fest still in the window. Oh, the four oh eight there, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Look at this big boat. Over there. See all y'all that waited this long in the video. I know it gets monotonous. A lot of street cars here. It's okay. And this right here is a 58, I believe. I, I, I like the four eyed. I like this version this year of the truck. Um, probably one of my favorite trucks. Like the, uh, I think they call the Apache. This is a Biscayne. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's right. Yep, 58. See it? It is for sale. Oh, man. Call him. There's the number Paul's that. Go check it out. It looks pretty clean. It's been a repainting. I can, I can see it. It's got base clear on it. Interior's been restored. Looks pretty good job, though. Pretty good job. Looks all right. Body looks pretty good. Looks like it had all the emblems on it. Yeah. Now look at this little thing, that's cool. That's where you take the drag strip, run you back and forth from the end. I hope you guys are enjoying our new series, The Conversation Corner. I've got a couple more planned, and I've got some race teams that we're gonna go to and go check out their spot too, so. Kind of change up some of the content here and there, you know. I love going to the car shows. I love recording them. But uh, that was pretty fun doing that first, uh, going to Darren Crocker's house and checking out his collection. Um, I'm gonna see if Dad can get us into the Heritage Center at Hendrick Motorsports. I'd love to get in there and record. Dad's got a couple contacts he's gonna reach out to, see if we can get in there. Course looks good. Got a 
real clean fox body here. Yeah, it's a truck car too. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I like this clean car. And this baby blue 911 here, that's sweet. Kind of, yeah. I want a faster motor. <laughs> yeah, you got 10 grand? You do. You do. No, I don't. You can. Huh? You can. You're good if you work. I don't have 10 grand. All right, so y'all stick with us. We're getting close here. We got just a couple more rows to go. Look, they're still pulling in. And so, yeah, they've been stacking them out that way now since they filled up the back. So I'm going to have to go over there and fill in. It's a good day. It's a beautiful day. Supercharged. Old Paxton on it. Sure, it runs good. Look at the stance on that thing. Think it's bagged? That's a doggy. Hey, doggy. He's excited. <laughs> <laughs> a BMW. Let's walk down here and check it out. I got a new steering wheel now. VT. I know a guy's got one of these for sale, so leave in the comments if uh, interested in it. It's been gutted. He won't turn into a race car. Here we go. About to open up the hood. Oh, it opens up this way. Oh, yeah. That's it. So, yeah. So, like it had a color swap on it. The engine bay was purple. What have we got here? We got some more. Oh. Edge, 40th anniversary, Mach 1. Got the shaker hood on it, that's pretty cool. And there's a lot of cars here today. This is bigger than the last one, absolutely. I mean, look at this back row back here. Wow.
got some slicks on the back of this thing. It looks like it. Uh, oh yeah, it runs real good. <laughs> Look at that. Big old turbo. Oh yeah. Yeah, she'll run good. Big old meaty tires on it. Front runners. Oh yeah. yeah I like that. Here we go. Are you Chrysler fans? What we got down here? We got an SN95. Yeah. Big old 4.6 in it. That's pretty cool. We've seen him a few different times. Well, I ain't seen this guy since uh, Knapp was cruising. Six. And you can tell this guy's a racer, you know, tubular front end. It's got wide five wheels on it. See, I'm thinking about doing that to my car. Just stick it out right before the front of the tire. I think that looks pretty cool. Might make the car sound a little better. Yeah, I like that. That's sweet. Pretty cool. <laughs> That's unique. Excuse me. Bring them wheels on that thing. Kind of got a rally car look to it. It's nice. That was for sale too. We are six van. street cars all right by this back road might be a bunch of street cars too that might be a white one right here that is a white one i gave you a shirt motherfucker. these things right here become hot commodities everybody wants them everybody wants one I, maybe me too <laughs> i like them yeah it's got the factory wheels on it i believe uh maybe not no, nah, yeah, that is. Yeah, that's the factory wheels. I ran one of these last night, <laughs> and it was just a 5.0, and uh, I took his lunch money. I absolutely took his lunch money. He got me at the first time. He was uh, he kind of ran up on me a little quick, and I wasn't in the right gear. Uh, then we went out there and um, from 60 to about 100 and whatever, and uh, I pulled on him pretty good pulled about a half a car length on him he let off he didn't he didn't expect that from that old beater fairmont i thought it was fun most fun i've had in a long time i would too be going on look at the wheels on that thing that's what i did when i went up with it's got some spacers on it i think so. oh, maybe i heard this thing when it came in and the wheels are aggressive looking look at that that's cool Yeah, you see the difference in the stance in that one and this one right here beside it, you know. Wheels do something for it. Good bit of Corvettes here today. Good bit of Corvettes. Well, look at that bronze, some dark bronze. That's sweet. power there 66 charger got a 318 in it then convert them to a one wire alternator well I don't know it had the voltage regulator on the firewall look at that yeah, that's cool 
Look how far that seat gets out of the way. That's amazing. Yeah, that's a pretty cool car there. These were some. Uh, these were dominating NASCAR when they came out. I mean, look at the uh, the roof line on it. How far it goes back. I mean, just the arrow on it was uh, superb for the time. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I'm wrong about that. That's not a one wire. Well, it is. Yeah, oh, he just left a regulator up there. Hmm. Yeah, pretty cool car. on it oh yeah that's neat that looks fun doesn't it trim ball blacked out on it that's 63 yeah, it's pretty attractive I like it it's an odd color it's kind of gray but it's got a green tint to it it's pretty cool I like that well we got a couple more is it? Split this up into two videos. As I've been back there while I walked through it originally, there was, uh, I mean, a whole slew of cars came in. I mean, look how, like, there's a certain line down there. We're going to just kind of hit those. And then I've seen that there's been some people leave and then been some people show up. Um, so, man, I'm going to quit talking. Let's start walking and check this out. So yeah, I think we've seen all these cars. Let's get down here to this, uh, I don't know, 34, 30, 30 something Ford. It's pretty neat. Oh yeah, got some Ford Cobra valve covers. Quick fuel four barrel. The interior looks pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty cool.
Yeah, got a nice nostalgia, old school hot rod look to it. All right, let's see what else we missed on our first round. So I think about, yeah, because this was the car from the, oh, I don't want to mess up the professional cameraman here. All you Lamborghini lovers, the Huracan. I'm sure it was a cold ride this morning. Yeah, it's pretty neat. You know, I, I really like cars that are built. Uh, anybody with some money can go buy one. But it's different when you build a car. We've got a Boss 302. Let's go hit the front row here. We got a SS Chevelle over here. I'm going home where it's warm. <laughs> Car's pretty cool. We got a Jag. paint's just peeling off of it but it looks kind of neat though and look at this I don't even know what this is Ros Ros I don't know, Rosion or something like that now that man that, that's that's gold right there that's what I'm <laughs> Maybe one day. Y'all keep liking and sharing and keep on subscribing. Keep on buying apparel and I'm gonna get me a big old rig like that. Another Chevelle. This one's a little cleaner. Pretty good. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah. That yellow car caught my eye. Y'all want to go check it out? for all you Chrysler guys. You're about to get your Chrysler fix. This is an original Fornet 440. Look at that. That is cool. What do you think about that outlaw performance? Yeah. That sucker's all original too. Man. That's really cool. Love the old patina on it. It's not restored. That's great. Well, look at this big old thing.
Oh, I see a fox body. But over here, I see a P1800 Volvo. We gotta walk over here and check it out. That was my first love was Volvos. You know, I worked at the Volvo dealership for, I don't know, four and a half years or so. That looks about a 70, 71 P1800. They had a lot of influence from Ferrari at the time. And a very odd car. Really odd car. They, and they made a hatchback as well called the ES. And they were pretty cool too. But this car got a good fresh repaint on it. They look really good with some Volvo uh, 240 turbo wheels. Um, but that's a really cool car and it's you know fully restored that's that's sweet I like it all right let's see what else we missed I need to start going live on these videos so y'all can tell me what y'all want to see but I'm gonna walk towards this Chevrolet truck over here I think it looks pretty cool Patina, I don't believe. I believe that's been done up. But it looks good. Though. I know it's hard to tell. Guys have so many different ways of making this look. And uh, yeah, that don't look like that's the way that normally happens. But it still, it still looks pretty cool. The doors have that that red coat, the the E coat they call it. Look at this Malibu, it's pretty sweet. Got some Mickey Thompson valve covers on it. You don't see them every day. Oh. Y'all gonna correct me a Chevelle, whichever way. Valve. It was like a 4.8 liter V8, I believe. And uh, these cars, they'll get too. I mean, it's not the prettiest looking car, but um, definitely a rare car. So, yeah, I just a lot of passenger cars passenger cars let's go see what else we can find that's neat and exotic maybe a little different We're gonna go check out this fox body now. Probably a lot of you guys don't know it's a fox body, but uh, the LTV is on the fox body platform. GT500. That was right when the price up. Oh, yeah. It's five and swap. Mustang wheels on it. If Don Juan's watching, ship me a cap your black one. Didn't realize what it was. That's a Mercury too. That's a Marquis. Huh. Yeah, that's cool. 
Well, let's see what else we got here. We got some big crowds back here, so that's where we're gonna walk. Follow the crowd. Oh, it's a GT40. Oh yeah. And there's a doggy. Look at that doggy. Hey, doggy. I'm sure about that. <laughs> Yeah, we've got some sweet rides here. Got a newer 911 Turbo S, but this right here. everything stock and clean looking but you add your extra instrumentation that's cool <laughs> So, you know, I'm not too big on uh, electric vehicles or anything like that, but um, I haven't seen one of these in person yet, and I wanted to come over here and check this thing out. So it's got 24-inch wheels on it. This is the Ford Light. It's the new electric Ford truck, F-150, which is pretty wild. See, there's nothing in there. Now, he said that... Uh, the thing was pretty quick. I forgot what times he said it ran in the eighth. But we figured we'd walk around it. I showed that thing off to you. Thing. It's Volkswagen. Yeah, it's pretty cool too. Comfy. 
good and comfy. appreciate every single one of you please hit the like button share comment let me know which one was your favorite and uh man go watch the uh conversation quarter if you haven't seen it yet and uh so really appreciate you, every single one of you y'all have a blessed day